Hello and thank you for joining us for the second quarter CUSG shareholder update of 2019. In this report, we'll cover the progress and success of our product reinventions and our plans for the second half of the year. So the second quarter was a, was a good one for CUSG and you'll hear throughout the report from our LLC leaders on progress in various areas. CUSG ended June with EBITDA of 8.7 million, exceeding budget by 1.7 million. The favorable variance can be attributed to June's strong revenue performance, which exceeded budget by 119,000, along with unrealized gains on equities of 1.9 million due to the strong stock market performance during the first half of the year. And the company's year-to-date net income of 1.9 million surpassed budget by 1.3 million. Again, mostly due to positive variances in our stock portfolio. So CUSG's balance sheet remains solid with assets totaling $93.5 million, including unrestricted cash and marketable securities of over $47 million. Shareholders' equity totaled $74.7 million, which has grown $6.1 million. So in short, we've had a strong first half of the year and are optimistic about the remainder of the year ahead. Through the transition of the LifeSteps Wallet product line to LifeStep Solutions LLC, we have focused on improving credit unions' omni-channel banking services. In this age of NEO and Challenger banks, it's important for us to work with credit unions to find the features and products that can help them succeed. The ultimate goal is to be the leader of a mobile product collaboration community that keeps credit unions competitive in the digital banking age. To help achieve this goal, recent incremental changes to the existing LifeSteps Wallet platform included expanded services and features that consumers are looking for and expect from a comprehensive digital banking solution offered by their bank or credit union. Technology Solutions COO Tim Bowman will have more in his report on these uh, issues. Across uh, many of our products and services, the, the focus has been on streamlined mobile-first designs for improved user experiences. The Love My Credit and Rewards program, for example, has undergone just such an update, which included key user-centric data collection with low friction, secure password authentication, and stable and future-proofed architecture. Marketing Solutions COO David Dean will discuss in a moment how these updated features strengthen the appeal of the program, ultimately driving sales and increasing the value. Individually, the rewards programs are hitting and exceeding benchmarks. And I'm proud to say that here at the end of the second quarter, CUSG's balance sheet reflects those financial strides. And now, more on our product and service enhancements from our division leaders. Thanks, Dave. Technology Solutions continues to play a pivotal role in the transition of LifeSteps Wallet product line to LifeSteps Solutions LLC. While our division builds out the framework for the LifeSteps Wallet app, the LLC will apply its marketing strengths and knowledge to implement the app's go-to-market as a neo-banking competitor tool for credit unions. The transition will allow for the expanded services and features like personal finance management services, enhanced P2P services, integration of QCash Financial's lending platform, and integration with Nest Ready's home search and financing platform. Other eminent partnerships and services include fractional share investing tools, something credit unions find are resonating with millennial members, incremental updates to the existing platform, added partnerships and extensive quality assurance of the product are all focuses of the transition. As Dave has already mentioned, we continue to seek out key partnerships like home buying finance tech company Nest Ready, for integration with LifeSteps Wallet. New partners are being added to the pipeline while we conduct focus groups to hone our selection of cutting edge technologies and services to include in the app. Keeping the focus on mobile banking approaches and options for credit unions, we also continue to work with our partner, Access SoftTech, to implement both Mobile Finance Manager, a robust, a robust native mobile banking solution, and Orpheus, a mobile first internet banking interface to offer a true omni-channel digital banking experience for credit union members. While the strength of credit unions remains their member service and relationship banking, the, their future growth will hinge on partnering these traditional strengths with accessible mobile banking services. These products are helping to bring those strengths and much more needed services together for credit unions of all sizes. On the heels of implementing a small asset size credit union solution with AudioEye, Technology solution sales and leads have increased significantly in the last month. 
The strength of such strategic partnerships is evidence in the increased interest of credit unions in our product. Sales and marketing strategy sessions with this ADA partner are ongoing with new tactics to increase sales slated for execution in July. If you'd like to learn more about any of these partnerships or how going mobile with your banking strategy can keep your credit union competitive with NEO and Challenger banks, please contact my team. We'd be happy to talk. Thank you, Timmy. In early Q2, Marketing Solutions made a significant strategic adjustment by shifting to a solution sales approach and adding three best-in-class marketing technology products to our portfolio. Solution selling was developed for industries with highly customized products and packages, and we believe it's an ideal fit for the growing complexity faced by today's credit union marketing teams. A recent Gartner study revealed that B2B prospects complete nearly 60% of their buying decisions before even talking to a salesperson. We find that credit union marketing teams tend to research their options, rank them, decide on purchasing criteria, and compare prices all by themselves. So in many cases, our job is to reveal problems and opportunities credit unions don't even know they have. This capability begins with a deep understanding of the strategic priorities and challenges faced by credit unions today. It ends with our team's collective expertise about how modern marketing solutions work, from Google Analytics to social media to programmatic marketing and a multitude of powerful software-as-a-service solutions. We've added three of these new software-as-a-service solutions to our own product portfolio, further empowering our team to offer full end-to-end -end support to credit union clients and grow net new revenue streams for CUSG. Our first new SaaS partner is Vetter, which serves needs related to member acquisition and retention. Next is Onovative, a uniquely simple yet powerful CRM tool that works with any credit union core and has marketing automation capabilities built right in. And finally, this month we'll complete the acquisition of Member XP, a company that solves brand differentiation and attrition challenges for credit unions by optimizing the member experience. Member XP is already the largest provider of direct credit union member feedback in the United States, and we intend to scale it considerably in the coming months. These strategic adjustments have resulted in enhanced client satisfaction, lucrative ongoing consulting contracts, and stronger attributable ROI for our clients. We've also seen a 48% year-over-year increase on average contract value in our first two quarters of 2019. As Dave mentioned, the Love My Credit Union Rewards program has undergone a complete reinvention that launched in June. Our successful legacy member enhancement program has a completely new mobile-first design now and a new customer database with more than 1 million registered credit union members that's growing by nearly 40,000 members a month. The new Love My Credit Union Rewards represents more value and an improved user experience for credit union members as well as additional benefits for our credit union and league partners, our corporate partners, and new revenue for CUSG. In addition to our existing brand partners, Sprint, Intuit, and TrueStage, we've added a member offer from the popular home security provider, Simply Safe, and we'll add as many as a dozen additional deals to the platform in 2019. The Sprint Cash Rewards program is on track to exceed the Q2 revenue projection of $5.1 million, and conversions driven by participating credit union marketing efforts have improved by a significant 8% year over year. Through May, over $17 million in loyalty rewards and more than $11.2 million in cash rewards have been deposited into member credit union accounts. The Intuit TurboTax program ended tax season 2018 with revenue of $2.3 million, up 5% over the previous year and exceeding our 2019 budget by 5.3%. The increase in revenue was largely attributed to an enhanced product mix and multiple Intuit-driven price increases, but overall unit sales dipped this season. Our team is heads down on the development of new, more effective growth tactics for tax year 2019, and we already have an exciting possibility in the works that I plan to share in my Q3 update. Lastly, Save to Win reached 16 new credit unions in Q2 and has already exceeded our 2019 revenue budget. In Q3, the team will be hyper-focused on five states that have recently added prize link savings legislation, California, Ohio, Alabama, Virginia, and Kentucky. 
we're developing and deploying a state-specific webinar to educate credit unions in these markets on the unique value of the program for their members. Well, that's it from CUSG Marketing Solutions. Please feel free to reach out to me or my team with any questions, comments, or suggestions. Thanks, David. I'd like to give an overview of what we're doing to reinvent our core offerings, Performance Pro, Compies, Planning Pro, and the Learning Center in pursuit of our end goal of generating 1.5 million in new software sales across those four solutions in 2019, which will help push us toward our 10% total revenue growth this year. First, I'll cover Performance Pro and the Learning Center product reinvention and results. We're in the process of integrating these two solutions by making it easier to assign learning content to employees through employee and career development plans based on the required competencies of their current and future positions. While these plans include learning content, they also go further by including goals made by employees to proactively work with their managers, identifying areas of potential future impact an important element of performance pro functionality. In terms of the learning content, we're in the process of renegotiating an agreement with Skillsoft, a large national content provider, which would allow organizations to create a course bundle based on the full 3,000 course Skillsoft library, as opposed to the current model that allows them to choose from only 10% of that library. In addition, we're working internally with the Cube TV Studios team to develop a content creation plan that will ramp up the proprietary content library of COSG. The focus of that content library will be credit union specific, since the Skillsoft content fills most of the needs of non-credit unions. In terms of sales, we acquired about 300,000 in Learning Center revenue from CU Training at the end of April 2019, which was showcased in the CU Times. We set a goal to generate about 50,000 in Learning Center software sales in 2019, representing just over 15% growth over the 300,000. Through May 2019, we've seen 35,000 in sales and we don't see any obstacles to hitting our revenue target. Performance Pro sales are also doing well, currently standing at around 350,000. I'd like to highlight our focus to build Performance Pro integrations with core HR slash payroll systems. We have integrations in place with several systems already, including Paylocity, Paycore, Sync HR, Ultimate Software, Check Riders, ADP, and Prism HR. Moving on to Compies, the reinvention focus from a product standpoint has been to create a light version that will allow organizations to import their own salary ranges and still benefit from all the great functionality within the Compies system. Our first sale on this solution was notable as it was a joint sales effort with the Chicago office of the national payroll software company Paycor a relationship we hope will lead to additional joint sales. Total sales of Compies are around 300,000. Additional reinvention items for Compies include a new dashboard that helps organizations more easily spot potential pay equity blind spots, and a tool that empowers managers with a pool of discretionary funds to award based on their assessment of performance. Both features have been heavily requested by credit unions and non-credit unions. Last but not least is Planning Pro. We've had roughly 35,000 in sales in 2019. The product reinvention focus has been around re required features conveyed to us in the sales and implementation processes. With the sales and reinvention results I just listed, we're on pace to hit our new software sales and annual revenue growth targets, so it's continuing to be a great year for performance solutions. If there are any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks, Aaron. Throughout 2019, Strategic Advisory Solutions has continued to evolve and build value, strengthened by repeat clients, new engagements, and strong business prospects. I'm excited to share that the division has achieved year-over-year -year revenue growth of more than 200% through the end of Q2. Much of our success can be attributed to our focus on driving e-advisory services and our development and sales of compliance webinars, specifically the Compliance Officer Bootcamp e-series and the must-have compliance training sessions. The Bootcamp initiative is well underway. To date, 21 attendees have enrolled, amounting to more than 16,000 in sales. Our revenue target for e-advisory has already exceeded the 50% mark, thanks to the push by the league reps, ramped up by marketing efforts and sales conversations. Thus far, consultative sales have exceeded 200,000. Year to date, we executed agreements for 17 strategic planning sessions, 18 keynote and leadership engagements, and four executive coaching or governance sessions. 
with another 50,000 of potential sales in the pipeline. We're confident in our future sales growth. Our compliance advisors continue to drive value in Q2, conducting 27 website reviews, nine shared staffing assignments, 11 BSA audits and other custom projects, and training with 100% of the revenue coming from Michigan credit unions. Year to date, total revenues are roughly 230,000, including the compliance webinar series. The division has been focused on coordinating the transition of Affirmex to CE Solutions Group and strategizing how to leverage its product suite by developing a go-to-market plan. The Affirmex compliance product will be enhancing CUSG's overall GRC bundle, standing beside Governees, Planning Pro, AudioEye, CU Vendor Management, and our Strategic Advisory Solutions Compliance and other consulting to provide credit unions with an all-in-one resource. In other exciting news, we have sold governees to two credit unions and we anticipate greater sales growth throughout the year, given the high demand for comprehensive governance tool in the marketplace. To better position ourselves as industry experts and thought leaders, the team has been busy conducting speaking engagements, including the CUNA Young Professional Conference, the League of Southeastern Credit Unions, and several opportunities in the ACNE. The division is in the process of lining up several more speaking engagements for the fall. We continue to drive growth with the CUSG executive search and explore new opportunities to create value and awareness for the business line. Throughout 2019, our strategy is focused on increasing in credit union engagement, generating awareness for strategic consulting and governance, supporting and executing an effective ERM strategy, and generating revenue for the division. If you have any questions about our services, please feel free to reach out to any of our team members. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for joining us for this second quarter update. As you've heard, it's been a productive year so far, and we fully expect similar results for the balance of 2019. As always, if you're interested in learning more about any of our products or services or the things that we covered in this report, or have any questions at all, please contact me or one of our team members. And we're very proud to uh, lead CUSG and provide the solutions that we do that benefit our credit and community.